The next question that we are working with um, is a data handling question. Guys, in terms of data handling, you want to take all the marks. You want to take all the marks in data handling. Why? Because data handling is that one thing. Data handling is that one thing that has easy peasy marks. Key thing in data handling, just remember how to do, uh, just remember your definitions. Know what a range is, know what a mode is, know what a... Um, Intercota ranges, all of those things, especially in metric. In grade 11, we haven't gotten into the intercota range um, and the box and whisker. But in metric, you need to know your box and whisker. I cannot emphasize that enough. Let's look at what we have been given on the screen here. It says to us here, um, Mrs. Ngobo resides in Port Edward. So she's in Port Edward. She recorded all the electricity sales and the number of units received. So we're going to answer the three questions that we have on the screen here so we don't have to um, go too far. So I'm going to just name the first one, number one. It says, to, so the table is months, ne? all the way from April all the way to November. And then we've got amount in rands and then we've got the units received. So it says to us here, calculate the average number of units received. Give your answer to the nearest unit. So here, guys, there's two important things that we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is calculate the average. The average is the same as the mean. So don't get that confused, okay? Average is the same as the mean. And what do you do? You add all the numbers together and you divide it by the number of numbers. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. I'm just gonna write that seven over here so that I can use it later on, okay? Let me go now and add my units. You get a mark, guys, for adding these units. Sometimes learners are so lazy. Um, they don't want to add the units. 338.2. There's no time to be lazy anymore, guys. Yo, I cannot emphasize how we need to get up and start working. 95 plus 758.7. Plus, oh, it's, it's, it's longer than I thought. Um, 0.7 plus 155.9 plus 251.4. Divided by 7, because it's 7 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then now we go and we get our answer. This is out of 4. You would get a mark for adding and you would get a mark for that and probably 2 marks for the answer um, itself. Let's go and add that in our calculator. So it's gonna be 338.2 plus 338.2, already I can see a mode, um, plus 371.95 plus 700, and 58.7 plus 311.7 plus 155.9 plus 251.4 divided by 7. I'm doing it all together because I don't want to come back here. Um, that's 360.86. Um, 360.86. So if you read the question correctly, I said to you guys, there's two things we're going to be doing here, okay? The first thing that we are going to be doing here is calculating it. And the second thing is rounding it off because it says to us, give your answer to the nearest unit. Whenever you see something like this, all they mean is give, it, give your answer to the nearest whole number. That's all that it is. Even if they said, give your answer to the nearest rand. All it means is give your answer to the nearest unit. Give your answer to the nearest anything, guys. Anything that you are talking about, it has to be in terms of that. Okay, let's go and round it off to the nearest whole number. Whole number means that it's not going to have a comma, okay? So it has to be a whole number. So it's going to be 361 and our answer is going to be units. I love that question. 
So the second question that we are given in terms of this says, determine the range amount spent on the electricity. Now we need money, okay? Like I said to you guys, you need to know your definitions. If you don't know your definitions, it's going to be really hard for you. What is a range? No one's going to tell you in the exam what a range is. You need to walk out of the house knowing what a range is. A range is maximum minus minimum. So in this, in this case, it's going to be the maximum amount minus the minimum amount. Let's look at this table and see what the maximum amount is. The maximum amount that I can see here was in July, which is 1,200, and the lowest was 250 in October. So 1,200 minus 250. One, oh, sorry, let me do this. Range. I always encourage learners just to do this because then they know what they're doing. And, they, and I mean, they'll always remember it. 1,200 minus 250 rand. Ne, guys? It's money. We're talking money. 1,200 minus 250. 950 rand. Nice one. Okay? So, you know your definition. You know how to calculate it. You cannot calculate something if you do not know what you are calculating. The next question says to us, determine the modal amount spent on electricity. What is modal? I said to you guys, you need to know your definition. Modal is simply the number that occurs the most. Okay? Repeats itself the most. You can say that. Let's go look at what the number is. And we're talking money here, ne? So, let me just remove this other stuff. In this case, 500 repeats itself one, two, three, four times. And that's the most. So 500 rand is going to be our modal. Okay. Three. 500 rand. That's two marks. So there's no sweating um, in terms of that. 